guys, I'm Luan. In this video, we will learn together how the major organs of the body work together to make our body function properly. Are you ready? Let's do this. A lot today. Hmm, have you ever wondered how do we digest our food? Well, it's because of our digestive system. Our digestive system consists of eight organs, which are the mouth, esophagus, stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, and anus. The digestive system breaks down the food we eat and gets nutrients to give energy to our body. The digestive system starts from the mouth where it gets chewed. Saliva also is present in the mouth to digest the food even smaller. Next, it goes to the esophagus, where peristalsis happens. Next, the food goes into the stomach, where it gets digested. The liver and pancreas secretes enzymes to help digest the food. An enzyme called pepsin that is present in the stomach digests proteins. The small intestine digests food and absorbs nutrients and gives it to the blood to give us a boost of energy. The large intestine and anus releases the waste product or the undigested food out of our body in the form of... <laughs> Well, it's because of our muscles and bones. It all starts from the brain, which sends signals to the muscles by motor neurons. The muscles connect to the bones by tendons. The tendons helps us bend. First, what exactly is the muscular system? Well, it's made up of three main types. The three main muscle types are skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. The skeletal muscle is the muscle that we are most familiar with. We can control it. They are also called voluntary muscles. The cardiac muscle is only found at the heart. The smooth muscle is found in most of the organs that we have. Example are stomach and intestines. We have over 600 muscles. Could you believe that? Did you know we have over 300 to 206 bones? That's because some smaller bones join together to make bigger bones. That's why we get weaker every time we get bigger or older. The location of the brain is inside our head in our skull. <gasps> hmm, how do we breathe? Well, it's because of our lungs and heart. The lungs filter oxygen we breathe and delivers it to the blood by alveoli. The lungs have lobes. The right
right lung has three lobes, while the left lung has two lobes. Did you know that the left lung is slightly smaller than the right lung to give space to the heart? The heart brings oxygenated blood to our organs. The heart has four sections which can be split into two, the atrium and the ventricle. The heart's right side delivers blood to the lungs, while the heart's left side delivers blood to the whole body. That's why the right side of the heart is slightly thinner than the left side. What do we mean by the heart's valves? The heart's valves act like the door of the heart that prevents the blood from leaking inside the chamber that it was inside before. The heart has four types of valves, which are the tricuspid, pulmonary, mitral, and aortic valves. The tricuspid and pulmonary are present at the right side of the heart, while the mitral and aortic valves are present at the left side of the heart. Oh, I need to pee. Wait for a second. Why do we pee? Well, it's because of our kidneys. The kidneys are filtering devices of our body that filter the blood pumped by our heart. The waste from the blood is removed out of the body in the form of pee. One, two.